today I'm going to teach you the best exercise to get control over your double bass drum pedal. So let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Gabe and I'm from drumbeatsonline.com. Today is going to be an awesome lesson because I'm teaching you my absolute favorite exercise to get better control over my double bass pedal. So if you're anything like me, um, starting out on the double bass pedal was really, really difficult. It's really hard to get a feel for how to play faster and just have control over your weaker foot especially you might be used to your dominant foot being good but once you add in two feet on the double bass pedal it can get really really tricky so today I'm gonna teach you how to get out of that funk and get control over your double bass pedal so let's jump right into our exercise so in this exercise our hands are gonna be consistent the whole time so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing quarter notes on our ride cymbal. So just one, two, three, and four. And then we're just going to hit our snare drum on beat three. Real quick, that sounds like this. So that's simple enough. That part stays consistent throughout this whole exercise. But now what starts to get tricky is we're going to start adding in our double bass pedal. And through every one of these exercises, we're going to be alternating our double bass pedal between right, left, right, left. Um, and if you're left footed, then it'd be left, right, left, right. So for this first part, we're going to be playing quarter notes alternating between our feet. So beats one, two, three, and four. Um, and those are going to match up with all of our ride hits. So real quick, I'll show you what that looks like and what that sounds like. So it might actually be hard for you to play your double bass pedal that slow, but that's really good. You want to start off slow because that's what's going to get you the control that you want. If you can play something at a controlled slow tempo, then as you speed it up, you'll be able to have control over that. So remember, when we're doing those quarter notes, we want to alternate right, left, right, left I know for me because it's nice and slow I'm like oh I can easily do this on a single pedal but the whole point of this exercise is getting control over doing the alternating right left right left pattern so after you do the corner notes on your feet we're gonna move on to eighth notes so now we're gonna be going one and two and three and four and so now our left foot is gonna be doing all the notes in between our ride hits and our right foot is going to be hitting all the notes that our ride is hitting. That would sound like this. So now we're definitely starting to get more notes in there. So this could be where it starts to get a little bit tricky for you. So if you're having a hard time with those eighth notes, slow down the tempo and uh, just keep working on your form. And then once you get it at a really, really slow tempo, you'll be able to speed it up. So the first one we did was quarter notes and then we just did eighth notes. And now we're going to move on to triplets. So now for every quarter note, we're going to be hitting three notes. So one triplet, two triplets three triplet four triplet and remember we're going to be alternating between these so let's give that a shot real quick that would sound like this So now for the last step, step number four, 
we're going to be playing 16th notes on our feet. So now we're going to be going 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, all with our feet. So this is by far the most notes than any of the ones before it. So it'll probably be the hardest for you. So let's give this one a shot together. So that one can be really fun because we've got a lot of notes in there. But again, don't be discouraged if you're having a hard time with it. So now what I want to do to actually execute this exercise is I want to go down the list of all of the notes that we just did and play them all together. So I want you to play a measure of quarter notes on your feet, then a measure of eighth notes, a measure of triplets, and then a measure of sixteenth notes. And I just want you to repeat that pattern of four measures over and over and what you want to do is start off at a really slow tempo and then once you feel really good about it um, add five BPMs to that and then keep moving forward and moving forward and then pretty soon you'll be playing really really fast and really really controlled so let's try a few of these together real quick at some different BPMs that would sound like this So that can be some really, really tricky stuff and really hard to get control over it. But if you just spend some time with this exercise, I guarantee that you will have way better control over your double bass pedal and you'll be able to play faster and feel better about it. So keep practicing this one, guys. I know that you'll get it. If you guys want to check out some more of my drum lessons, please check out my full length drum lesson package called Ultimate Beginner Drum Lessons. If you want, you can check it out right here. They're some of my best lessons and I think you're going to love them. If you want to check out my last YouTube lesson, you can check it out right here. Thanks so much for stopping by this video, guys. It means so much to me and I'll see you in the next lesson. See you guys. Bye.